Hello, hello, welcome back. It's time for another video vlog, and this week we're talking about Harahashibu. I don't really speak Japanese, so there's like an 80% chance I did not say that correctly, but it's a Japanese saying. Um, translated means eat until you're 80% full. And this is a little kind of nugget of wisdom that is immensely helpful for us as we work on being healthy, um, not only, you know, kind of in the short term, but also in the long term as we work on aging gracefully, um, having a great quality of life as we get older, um, helping to diminish the signs of aging, and, you know, just really live life fully, which is what it's all about, right? Um, I don't think I need to go on my little rants again, but uh, can you imagine being old and being stuck in a body that's not functioning anymore? It's like my worst fear. <laughs> I think that's really why I do this, because like that just looks horrible to me. Um, so yeah, let's not do that. Let's, let's keep our bodies functioning well. And one of the ways, again, that we do that is by um, eating until we're 80% full, which is today's topic. So why is this important? Why does this work? Like what is going on that makes this so beneficial? You know, because if we're eating at the right amount of calories and, um, you know, we're maintaining our weight, like why does it matter if we eat too much at one meal? Like, why is that important? So to explain this, we need to look at our bodies functioning on kind of a cellular level and um, and really understand like what's happening as we take in food. So when we take in food, what we're getting from it is nutrients, obviously, to nourish our body. And then also we're getting the energy from the calories in the food. And on a cellular level, what happens with these calories is we, we break them down and we use them for energy. And we, you know, we use a nutrient set to facilitate in this process. But um, we can look in our cells and we see that we have mitochondria. And mitochondria are kind of the powerhouse of the cell. They work to generate ATP, which is the form of energy that our body uh uses and thrives on, uh, right? So um, there is a series of compounds within the cell called the electron transport chain, or within the mitochondria rather. And the electron transport chain is um, kind of the last process in energy production uh, for oxidative phosphorylation. And it, uh, you can think of it kind of like a series of compounds, little stops. Um, and each one of these is kind of loaded with electrons, right? So we see these electrons and they're going through and as they run through this kind of chain, um, the end products that we see are ATP and then also we see these um, kind of uh, molecules called reactive, reactive oxygen species. And both of these are obviously essential. We obviously we need the energy in the ATP and the reactive oxygen species play a role in our body as well. Our body doesn't make things that it doesn't need on some level, right? Like everything in balance. Um, so the reactive oxygen species, they work in cellular communication and um, immune function and, you know, a whole bunch of other uh, really important functions to our body. But, um, when there's too many of them, when they're, when they're out of balance, uh, you know, when the levels are not uh, quite right, we, we want just enough. So not too little, not too much. We want just enough. And when the levels are out of balance, we see that they can cause really damaging effects to our cells, um, which if we kind of zoom out and look at the bigger picture, we're seeing these in signs of aging and also chronic disease like diabetes, heart disease, cancer, um, dementia, I mean, the list goes on and on. So we need to keep our reactive oxygen species in check. And what happens when we eat too much is if we go back into the cell and we're looking at the uh, electron transport chain and we've just had a huge meal, we're overly stuffed, this chain kind of gets backed up and it gets completely saturated with um, electrons. And basically what happens at the end of the process is because the chain was saturated and completely full and completely reduced, we see that, that we've produced way too many reactive oxygen species. Um, and that kind of throws them out of balance and leads to those damaging effects, as I was explaining earlier. So 
it's important that we don't overload ourselves, we don't take in too much energy at once, and we don't eat until we're absolutely stuffed. <laughs> Those are kind of all the same thing. We're just looking at them on different levels, you know, cellular all the way up into just generally speaking, like, am I full when I eat or am I pleasantly satisfied? So we want to be pleasantly satisfied. So what's the best way to do that? It's like, you know, I know of science, but it doesn't help me if I can't apply it and um, use it towards my life. So how do I eat until I'm only 80% full? The first thing I'm going to say about this is we are a society of people who are like, go, 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 freaking go. Like, don't ever stop. <laughs> you're like, you can sleep when you're dead. Um, <laughs> and everything needs to be like, you, you need to be on all the time, tuned in all the time. Like technology is like freaking like buzzing in our ears. Like, ah, it makes me want to go a little bit nutty. As I, as you can tell, but I just kind of went a little bit nutty. Um, I have this problem too. Like, I just don't want to turn off, but we need to really tune out all of these distractions if we're going to eat mindfully and pay attention to our hunger signals and our satiety levels and really, you know, focus in on how our body feels as we're nourishing it and putting in food. So I would say tune out all the distractions, turn off your TV, stop checking your email as you're eating, like tune into what your body is feeling, um, eat more slowly. If you can put your fork down between bites, chew your food thoroughly, like maybe check in during like halfway through the meal and assess how am I feeling right now? Am I still hungry or am I getting full? Um, the other thing I was going to say is when we tune into our food, we're more apt to feel satisfied to it, you know, because our brain is functioning that we're actually eating rather than being like on autopilot. So that's really important too. So those are all things that we can do to just tune in and, and only eat until we're about 80% full, which again is really, really freaking important to our health. So that's all I'm going to say about that today. I love hearing from you guys. Um, so if you have questions or comments, please leave them below. I'd like I said, I love hearing from you. So um, that's all. Happy uh, eating moderately, right? Like, let's just kind of try to practice that and, and focus on that. And obviously, this kind of calorie reduction that we get from practicing only eating until we're 80% full is going to also work uh, well for, um, you know, calorie reduction and weight management and all that good stuff as well. So anyway, I'm going to stop babbling and I'll let you guys go. But thank you so much for tuning in and watching and I really appreciate it and we will talk next week. All right.